I cannot enter. It's locked, all right. Blood of a pure heart, garlic, blood of a king. I don't understand. Perhaps this is what McCullum drank. I had better keep that in mind. Edgar. Edgar, can you hear me? Jonathan. Is it really you? Easy. Easy. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, and internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Geoffrey McCollum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the skull. I never... Imagine that self-righteous fanatic would uh, dare to attack us in the open. What became of him? I put him in a somewhat delicate position when I made him an immortal. Really? Are you sure that was the wisest course of action? Time will tell. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they... I think you're hiding something, Edgar. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You... Jonathan, I... I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCollum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher... No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones' daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear, I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbury's. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my you research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. Right, I admit it. I boldly ventured into experimental realms, but I've killed no one to appease my thirst for knowledge, Jonathan. I'm no murderer. I never asked to become what I am, Edgar. You! chose to conduct your rogue experiments. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy.
No, Edgar. You are not going to die. Unless you want to. What? What, what do you mean? I can save you, Edgar. I can turn your broken body into one like mine. You truly would? After all I've done, I, after all that's been said, you would offer me this gift? I have no way of knowing which punishment would be worse, Edgar. <laughs> but it is not for me to decide. So? Oh, please, Jonathan, please. I beg you. This is what I've always wanted. This is what I've always searched for. Very well, then. Prepare to die and be reborn. To face an eternity of guilt. I'm ready. Oh, indeed, I am ready. Enough! So Harriet Jones became the original carrier when Edgar gave her vampire blood. I must tell Elizabeth. What good fortune brings you back to me, Jonathan? What is it, my dear? I'm afraid it's bad news, Elizabeth. The worst, actually. Please, speak up. Edgar is no longer in McCullum's grasp. I resolved that matter. Where is our good friend now? Is he well? Of a sort. His injuries were mortal. I had no choice but to make him one of us. To save him, or to punish him. To punish him? I fail to understand. And what is the source of this cold tone in your voice? Edgar Swansea was responsible for the Skull epidemic, Elizabeth. It was he who unleashed the deadly scourge upon London. What? Are you certain? This is the most terrible accusation. He confessed everything to me. He sought to cure the disease, to exploit vampire blood to stop the epidemic. But he unwittingly gave birth to a catastrophe. All those poor victims. How... Edgar's behavior was beyond lunacy. I must say, I'm shocked, Jonathan. Yes. That explains how Doris Fletcher was... Then we have no choice. I have one more matter to discuss with you. Harriet Jones was the primary case, but... Do you know what a healthy carrier is? There is a tone in your voice that frightens me, Jonathan. It was your blood Edgar used for his experiment on Harriet Jones. What? No. No. 
This can't be. Oh, God. Elizabeth. Are you all right? Oh, no, I have to go. What do you mean? Leave me alone. Save the city, Jonathan. Save what can be saved. Elizabeth, I need answers. Why did your blood Stay cause Stay away this? from me. Please. I swear I never was your Wait. enemy. Wait. No. Elizabeth. Now would be a good time to blend the recipe Marshall used when he fought the disaster. I think I know where to find what I need. Whose blood could be purer than that of William Marshall? 
Lord Redgrave will have to spare me a trip. decides to launch a full-scale attack against the club. Good evening, Lord Redgrave. Welcome, Lancebearer. I've located the true origin of the epidemic. Good. We've held out thus far, but the time has come to put an end to this crisis. Tell me, what do you need? The blood of William Marshall. The blood of William Marshall? Of my maker? Are you mad? This blood is the purest of all. My maker proffered it to me on the battlefield. I cannot hand it to you. This is more important than the club you or me. This... I see. Well... Thank you, my lord. Now go, Lance Bearer. Craft a legend.
I cannot use garlic, but there may be a substitute in the hospital drug storage. There it is. Insulin. Much more efficient than garlic against blood poisoning and sepsis, and much less dangerous for me. Thank you, Dr. Polescu. If McCollum really drank the blood of King Arthur, then I may have found another vital ingredient for my recipe. Come <laughs> on. 